Okay, for those of you who aren't YouTube creators or don't listen to us complain and whine annoyingly about YouTube, uh, this is another hilarious YouTube got caught lying video. Now, I've been noticing something going on with throttling, at least with my channel and other people's channels I talk to at MythCon. It seems like YouTube seems to be either slow rolling or not rolling out notifications at all to the vast majority of our subscribers starting about 10 days ago, roughly last week, Wednesday or Thursday. Then I noticed a video popping up in the dashboard of YouTube explaining the debunking the myth that once a video gets demonetized that the views are not affected. This is the overall point of YouTube saying, look, once we demonetize a video, it has no effect at all on the algorithm and you should continue to receive the same or more views. And well, based on the rate, roughly 30 to 40% of my videos eventually getting demonetized, depending on the topic. Uh, I know this to be demonstrably untrue. It was something I saw in the back end. I was like, dude, no, every time I see it every time. I just wish I would remember the moment I get that email that say that says the video was no good. And I go and look at views and there's a huge cliff. Well, let's take a look at what YouTube had to say about this. Okay, so say I have a video that gets demonetized, has uh, limited ads on it. I appeal, request an appeal, and mm -hmm. it gets a manual confirmation to say, yes, uh, YouTube does not believe that this video is suitable for all advertisers. Uh, will future videos on this channel be affected in any way because of that decision? That's another no. Um, we don't even know about that. Um, whether you appealed something, whether it was demonetized, whether it was overturned, none of that information gets into our systems of okay. uh, search and discovery. So uh, it's, it's a completely different thing. Okay, first nitpick out of the way. You're literally creating videos for YouTube creators, and you don't bother to use a lavalier mic or a boom mic. It sounds like you're talking into a giant empty room. Uh, you know, those who can do, I suppose, is relevant here. So you heard him say, basically, the question was, well, if I get a video demonetized, will it negatively affect my entire channel or future videos? But he goes on to answer and say, look, the demonetization algorithm is different than the visibility algorithm. They don't know anything about each other. So in theory, whether or not a video is currently monetized or monetized and demonetized, it has no effect whatsoever on search visibility. Now, uh, if you know uh, the Slingshot channel, um, the man behind the uh, YouTubers Union, first of all, has an amazing, awesome, entertaining channel. You should subscribe to him. Uh, he did the legwork to essentially disprove this entirely. So huge shout out to him. Uh, and I'm going to show you just a small section of his video. Excuse me, <coughs> super, super sick. I got that con crud, but uh, the work continues. No time off for me. As to be expected, the income dropped to zero the day they demonetized the video. But look what happened to the views. See the views? Let me explain this again. Uh, are supposed to have no relationship to the uh, to the monetization status. Yet, as you see, the views drop to zero the very same day. Here is another video of mine. Uh, it's not as popular, but still generated a good amount of views. Same thing, the day they demonetized it, it dropped to zero. And even worse, now look at this video. They demonetized it and nine days later on, I was successful with my appeal and they re-monetized the video. Look what happened to the views. They jumped right back to the previous level. Ugh. Eat it, YouTube. I mean, you have all three scenarios here. You have, you have, you have multiple videos. You show a, a repeatable event. You show the coordination of the drop in monetization as well as the drop in views. You also get the proof that once it was demonetized, then re-monetized, the views pick back up. How can you push, essentially you push this video to the dashboard of every single creator on your channel and you either have no idea how your own algorithms work, which is possible, 
or you are outright lying on purpose, content creator insider, and they actually responded to him. Now, the video is going exactly how you would expect. Expect 340 upvotes, 200 or 2,400 downvotes. You can see the comments not going well. Uh, you can see Jurg uh, saying, I can't believe you're still trying to defend your lies in the eye of the evidence I prevent, pro provided. This is why I'm covering it because it doesn't appear that they've uh, provided any uh, further information. You can see this isn't true. My more popular videos that were demoned stopped getting views and other YouTubers have demonstrated the same. Limited or no ads via age restriction flags or yellow icon 100% does reduce views. Sorry, man. Seen it too many times to ignore. I mean, you see everybody. You see a lot of YouTubers in this thread. You are lying. Checks Jurg's uh, Sprav's latest video. Stop lying. Someone will have to show you your own features. Uh... And you have, you can actually see they responded to this. They posted the same thing on Yerk's channel. Some folks believe we provided wrong information when Todd talked about whether monetizing a video increased views. To clarify, he was actually answering a more nuanced question. Specifically, does turning on ads increase visibility? Fair. He was answering that question. However, he went on to say the two algorithms have nothing to do with each other. The systems that run the search and discovery features do not get a signal of whether monetization is on or off. To test that, simply take a video that has stable performance, turn off ads for the video for, say, an hour, observe real-time traffic in YouTube analytics, and then you'll see it. If you see a drop, let us know. So they don't even know. Then they say, to answer the specific question, is there a relationship between monetization and views on YouTube is more nuanced. Whether a video has a yellow icon or not doesn't matter to our search and discovery systems. They are focused on delivering the best video to the viewers. That doesn't mean there couldn't be situations where underlying reason for less ads or no ads is also used by the search and discovery. Didn't you say, he specifically said, they do not talk that the search and discovery algorithm and the monetization algorithm do not talk. They then go on to say, for example, as some of your commentators noted, if a video is age gated or only appropriate for a subset of an audience that might get less ads, that's fair. An age gate, that would make sense. But Yurg's videos don't have that. In fact, the demon into the remon had nothing to do with age restriction. Uh, now, I have had videos that I did not monetize, monetize from the start that still have millions of views. My Stan Lee video, for example, I never monetized it, and it did just fine. My point is, and everyone, all the commentators' points are that if a video gets yellow dotted, that absolutely does have an effect on views. And the point of their video, which is literally titled Myth Busting, do ads affect search and discovery is either purposely misleading, purposely lying, or this is two people that don't even understand how their own algorithm works. Because as YouTubers, we are already now under constant attack from mainstream media and from freaking Hollywood stars just starting YouTube channels and then getting recommended. I'm getting recommended videos from Kevin Nealon. Sure, he's funny, but he's not a YouTuber. Why do I see videos from Kevin Nealon and, and, and The Late Show and not people I subscribe to? This has been an ongoing thing as a consumer of YouTube. YouTube is the only content I really even watch. Uh, I, I hardly ever watch regular TV. I don't really read a lot of articles online unless it's for a YouTube video. YouTube is my entertainment. So I, as a user of YouTube, are just as frustrated as everyone else, as both a creator and a consumer of the product. And the fact that they would actually put out this video to basically say like, well, the two have nothing to do with one another is absurd. Of course they do. I see it in my videos all the time. I had the video where uh, I talk about Twitch thoughts, uh, get yellow flag first, and the videos fell off a cliff. And then it got age restricted and it basically killed the video, which the age restricting, I actually totally understand 
uh, how that would affect it because it probably for people that are actually logged in uh, and they know your age and you've told the right age, it probably doesn't show the video. Although they say that the two systems do not speak at all even though we clearly know they do. So YouTube busted uh, lying again about this. And uh, you know, it's frustrating because as a creator, we try to use certain words or present things in a certain way. Um, my whole thing is about the demonetization. And I know I've said that ver word enough in this video that it will be probably yellow flagged, uh, is, has, is and has never been about the ad revenue. Uh, being in the commentator space, the ad revenue is quite low. Uh, my channel succeeds because of people's super chats and people purchasing merch, things like that. Um, it's only ever been about, you know, what good is having the right message or a good message if people don't see it. And we have this problem with the notification systems and, and we know that we have this problem with the yellow flag. Now I will say, I believe it has gotten better. There was a period of time where almost every video I was uploading was hitting that. Uh, I have changed my language around a little bit, but I do think the system is learning a little bit more. Most of all, really almost all the videos that were yellow uh, flagged for me, uh, should have been fine. And 90% of them after review were, uh, fine. We're approved for ads. Now they get you because they, you know, 90% of your views happen that first 12 to 24 hours. So you don't make any ad revenue anyway, but I think the system is learning. The problem is when you have people put videos out this, like I said, where they're either purposely lying or they don't understand their own algorithm, it causes a further rift between creators and the platform that we are beholden to, to make our careers and our livings and put out our content for people to enjoy.